One of the easiest thing for mindset coach and life coaches to engage in creating content on social media or writing emails or even just simply engaging your audience on a day-to-day -day basis is actually using storytelling. Storytelling has been around for centuries and centuries and it is probably the oldest way of how we connect to your audience and getting people to stop and listen to us. So if this is something that you would like to learn more, stick around. Today, I'm going to show you how you can leverage your storytelling into your social media and your email content so that you can actually connect with your audience more authentically and more genuinely. If you are new to me, I'm Michelle and I am a visibility and marketing coach and I love helping female coaches to get seen, get hurt and get paying clients so that they can turn a passion for coaching into a profitable coaching business. Today, we are going to talk about how do you leverage storytelling into your content creation so that you can connect with your audience and get them to relate to your business more and creating that personal brand that is unique and that is different. And storytelling has been around for centuries. It dated way back in the prehistorical area where we see the carving on the wall. And when we see these visuals, it connects with us emotionally and personally, we just feel something that is there for the humanness and the bonding behind all the things that we see. And if you think back the years where you were a child and you're probably really drawn to the storytelling, whether it's in school or in your family, we use storytelling on our day-to-day -day life. And this is why it is so powerful when you leverage it into your marketing strategy. And this is something that I cover in my Profitable Coach Formula, where you get a whole module training on how to use the storytelling framework in your marketing strategies. If you'd like to learn more, I'm going to share a link. You can join us on the waiting list. And as soon as I open the door, I will let you know. If you're a life and mindset coach, one of the biggest struggles is actually knowing what story to bring in that would actually make your audience feel connected to you. And this is what I have done successfully in, to start my coaching business back in the days when I was doing life life coaching. I knew I was not good at selling. I was not good at promoting myself and I just didn't know how to market myself and my business. So I started by sharing my personal journey of how I was able to hike Machu Picchu with my disability. There's a video down below. I'm going to link it so that you can check out my story of how I conquered Machu Picchu with my two crutches. Check out that video. So how do you know exactly which story to bring into your content strategy? So last week I talked about using the PAS framework. If you missed that video, I'm also going to link it in the description box below so that you can go and check it out. So using the PAS framework, what is missing is an inspiration or a story behind what you do and how you are the expert and authority in helping your client to achieve what they want to achieve. And this is where the story comes in. And I like to call it an inspiration. So you might want to include that framework and modify it to P-A-I-S because the I stands for inspiration. So the way that you do this, I, I want you to think about the fitness industry, how they use the before and after picture so effectively that every time we go on to social media, you see these uh, fitness trainers, they demonstrate here is the before and here is the after result with a visual picture of what is possible for your dream avatar, your dream client. So same concept, when you use the PAIS framework, then essentially what you're doing is you're painting an opportunity a before and after picture for the person who's reading your content. So the before would be the pain and the frustration and the agitation that your avatar, your dream client is experiencing and you bring in the story about how you were able to overcome that same struggle that your avatar, your dream client is currently experiencing and how you are able to use and leverage the solution that you have found, which is part of your coaching or your tips or your resources that you were able to accomplish and get what you want. So when you incorporate a piece of your story into that journey of how someone was struggling with the problem that they have and how it is possible 
possible for you, for example, or someone else using the same solution to accomplish the result that they want, then you, my friend, have just created a very compelling and engaging content that your avatar, your audience can actually resonate. So by now you're probably thinking, okay, Michelle, that's great, but how do I actually know which one to share? There's so many pieces and so many stories that I have experienced. I feel like I can bring this story, I can bring that story, I can bring this piece coming into and creating a hot podge of everything. And you're absolutely right. And this is a common problem how I see a lot of coaches are experiencing that it's becoming a hot podge of everything that they put together. And there's no tangible and reasonable path of what you want your avatar to do. So here's the thing. Before you sit down and creating any type of content, what I want you to do is focus on that one lesson from your story that you can teach your audience. What is that one thing that you want this message to lead to? For example, it could be courage. So a lot of time when I share my personal stories of how I was struggling with the disability and body shaming, one of the key messages that I identified was the courage of doing things without fear. And that was my absolute game changer when it comes to content creation. Now I can just focus on the courage and lead that, use that as the solution, as a path for my avatar, for my dream client to be able to accomplish. If you want more courage, here's the problem that I see. Here's the frustration of not having the courage. And here's the solution of how you can get more and experience more and doing things without fear. And so you see that path of how you can can craft your message that will connect with your audience, sharing your story, and it comes from the lesson, a big lesson, overarching lessons that you have learned from your journey. Now, you may use a different story that demonstrate courage. You may use a simple analogy or metaphor that talk about courage, there's a lot of different possibility and the sky is your limit. But you always want to focus on just one thing, one lesson and one idea that you want to share. And remember, you have 365 days, so there's no rush to put all the ideas into just one single post. If you found this helpful, I would love for you to comment down below. What is that one thing that you would like your audience to do this week? What do you want them to learn about this week? And what is that story that you would like to share? Put that into the comment. I would love to hear. And perhaps your story is going to inspire someone else. Let's get the conversation going. And while you're here, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe so that you don't miss out. In the meantime, keep coaching. See you in the next video.